Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, O Father Almighty God. We thank you, Jehovah Jireh, for this midnight, this night, O God. We thank you, O Father. We come to you, O Jehovah Jireh. We humble ourselves. Father Lord, forgive us our sins. Father Lord, forgive us our sins. Forgive us, O Father. Wash us with the blood of the Lamb. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Forgive us, O Lord. Thank you, Jehovah, to forgive us in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we thank you for this time, for this night, minutes, seconds, and Jehovah Jireh for this week and month and year. We say thank you, O Lord, because it's only you, you can make it. Without you, Lord Jehovah Jireh, we can't make it. And we couldn't be here to pray, Father Lord, and to hear your word. Jehovah Jireh, I pray for sisters and brothers who are watching right now all over the world. Father Lord, you may bless them, touch them to hear your word, O oh God, and may, may them not remain the same. Father Lord, let this word to touch them and to change their life because you are the one to give us this word to preach. Father Lord, thank you. And I cover all the preaching with the blood of Jesus. I cover it so that there is nothing which will attack this preaching. When we are going to minister Jehovah Jireh, I cover it with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, allow us to preach this word and understand. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for myself too. Before I continue, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, because you love me and you love my sisters and brothers. Thank you, Jesus. I pray in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. My sisters and my brothers, it's me again, Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanoi. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Amen. So today, the Lord has made it again. And he has given us another word to learn through the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Good news of the Bible, the word of God. My sisters and my brothers, today we are going to read the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read the book of Revelation together in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to read from Revelation 13. First 16, first 16 to, to first 18. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read the book of Revelation 16, first 18. In the name of Jesus, I read. Amen. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, I hope you have opened also your Bible. And we can read together in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. The beats. I read. The beats force all the people, small and greater, rich and poor, slaves and free, to have a mark. Pasted on their right hand or on their forehead. No one could buy or sell without having this mark. That is the beats, its name or the number that stands for the name. This calls for wisdom. However, is intelli in, for however is intelligent can work out for the meaning or the number of the bits because the number stands for a human name. It is number is 
666. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I will repeat again and read it again, slowly by slowly by slowly, so that we can understand clearly, because this is a message for end time. It will come. Yes. I read again in the name of Jesus. The book of Revelation 13, 16 to 18. I read in Jesus' name. The beats forced all. The beats forced all the people. Small and greater, rich and poor, slaves and free, to have a mark placed on their right hands or on their false head. No one could buy or sell without having this mark that is the bits number or the number that stand for the name. This call for wisdom, however, is intelligent can walk out the meaning of the number out of the best because the number standard for a human name its number is six 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 hallelujah praise the name of the living god amen my sisters my brother I will repeat it again because this, this, this uh, about number 666, it is not a joke. It is something which is terrible. It's horrible. Yes. For those ones who don't know Christ, you know, it is about to cry because this number is on the way and it will happen. It will happen because already it has started. If you look at the internet very well, well, just to, to click in YouTube, number 666, you will see what things are happening in this world. My sister, my brother, I will read it again in the name of Jesus. I cannot read so very, very well, but I know and I believe that the words which I'm talking about and reading in the Bible, you will understand because you too, you have a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, you will just hear slowly and clearly you will hear me clear. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm trying. Yes. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Jesus help me. I read. The bits forced all the people. Small and great. Rich and poor. Slave and free. To have a mark placed on their right hands or on their false head. No one could buy or sell without having this mark. That is the bits is name or the number that stands for the name. 18. This called for wisdom. However, is intelligent, can walk out the meaning of the number, of the bits, because the number stands for a human name. It is, number is 666. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord again. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, because it is end time. It is end time. You know, many, they don't believe that the time will come. Many, they don't believe that the time will come. They don't believe that the time will come. The time, the time will come, my sister, my brother. Yes, I am preaching this word. Because it's the Lord put this word in me, 
in my voice, in my heart, in my spirit to preach for you. It is not me, myself. I just came and bring myself here to come and preach that word. I am going to tell you this word because the Lord Almighty God is the one to choose me. He's the one to call me and to choose me to preach this word for you, my sister and my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. So this word is, it's not a force. This word is to teach, is to tell, is to remember people that there is a day this world will finish. There is a day the honor will come. And I'm telling you, that time it will come. It will be a very, very good day for those ones who believe in Christ, for those ones who have given their life to Jesus Christ, and for those ones who obey the word of the Lord. But those ones who they don't obey the word of the Lord, and they don't want to understand, they don't want to hear about anything about Jesus Christ, it will be so hard and so difficult for them to understand that day when the time comes. Because when that time comes, many things will be stopped. Even to preach itself, nobody will preach again. Even the servants of God, they will not preach again. Hallelujah. Amen. Women of God, men of God, children of God, they will not preach again. When that time comes, for this number 666, you hear my brother and my sister when I was reading it. It says that that time when it comes, if you don't have that number, you will not buy and you will not sell. But that number, it is a number for Satan. That number is a number for Lucifer. It's a number for a big Satan. Because that is the number for only those ones who are going to follow Satan. Because that number, it is not allowed to be taken. Don't take that number. My sister and my brother, this is a warning for every human being, for every nation, everybody. That number, it is not a number for heaven. It is a number for Satan, my sister and my brother. When they put you that number in your forehead or in your, <clears throat> in your right hand, you will never rub it again. It is a mark of Satan. That is the time of tribulation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. My sister and my brother, we have been reading it in the Bible. We have been reading it in the Bible. It's not me I'm talking about it direct from my mind. No, 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 no. It is the word of Lord. Is it in the Bible? It's in the book of Revelation 13. It's in the book of Revelation 13, 16 to 18. You can read it yourself. And if you don't have a Bible, you can go and buy it. And if you don't have it, you can ask also your neighbor to show it to you. Because when that time comes, the trib tribulation will come. That is the time of rapture. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming to rapture his children. If you know you didn't follow Jesus, if you know you didn't hear the word of Lord, you didn't give your life to Jesus Christ, you didn't repent your sins, you didn't follow the words of God, you didn't follow the commandments of God, when that time comes, it will be not easy because it will be easy for the, for the Christians, for those ones who obey God. They will be protected. The Lord Jesus Christ is not going to leave his people. He's going to take his people with him. Yes. And then the tribulation will come down. It will come down. The number 666 is very hard. It's very painful because they will suffer. They will suffer. They will be so Horrible and terrible. My sister and my brother. Be aware for that number 666. When that number 666 comes, don't take it my sister. Don't take it my brother. It is a warning from Lord Jesus Christ. The children of God, they don't have to take that number. So my sister, my brother, God bless you. That is the message which I release it today. The Lord tell me to preach today in this midnight. May God bless you. And my sister, my brother, I remind you again, don't take the number 666. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. It is me, 
Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanui, God bless you, my sister and my brother. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me too. Amen. Thank you so much. And be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.